Lompoc decided to quit their day jobs and take on raising alpacas. Their ranch now houses a wild range of animals, and they're uh, the only fiber mill in Santa Barbara County. News Channel 3's Claire Anderson went to the ranch to see how they're taking full care of their alpacas. Alpacas, llamas, and Icelandic sheep. These animals are used for their fiber coats, which is turned into yarn by Ranch of the Oaks. We're the only fiber mill in Santa Barbara County. Uh, we're the only ones that make it in, for, take it full circle from the animal um, and make it into yarn. Meta and her husband Tom started the ranch in 2002, and four years later they bought equipment to make a fiber mill at home. Well, it's basically a, about a 12-step process, taking it from the raw fiber off the animal into either roving for hand spinners or yarn for knitters, crocheters, weavers. The couple makes yarn with their animals' coats, but their main business comes from others who specially chip fiber to their farm just outside of Lompoc. Well, besides all the animals we raise here, we get a lot from California, Oregon, Washington. Uh, we've got some Arizona, some from back east, Midwest. The mill processes over 2,000 pounds of fiber a year, and they're one of the largest alpaca farms in the county. Nobody realizes that it takes as much as it does. They just kind of think they go to the store and pick it off the shelf. The couple says the animals are easy to maintain, and they even have their own personalities. They're very easy to work with, easy to handle, and they're always entertaining. Ranch of the Oaks may be a small fiber mill with only two employees, but what they do produce is popular among yarn enthusiasts. In Lompoc, Claire Anderson, KCOY 12, Central Coast News. So interesting. Who knew? Alpaca is right? my word of the day, and they're so cute. They are cute. That one was smiling at the I end, know. by the way. I was standing there going, mm. adorable. Six six.